Now to those tensions running high after the police killed an unarmed black man, Stephon Clark. Protesters taking to the streets in Sacramento again last night and across the country, including right here in New York City. ABC's Kena Whitworth is in Sacramento with the latest. Good morning, Kena. Robin, good morning. An emergency interfaith town hall meeting was held last night after another day of protests. California Highway Patrol blocking demonstrators from getting on the highway. This as the family of Stefan Clark is planning for his funeral right here today. Protesters gathered outside the defense attorney's office. Blocking off streets in their cars, calling for justice and accountability in the shooting death of Stefan Clark. I have a 12 year old baby in here. This is peaceful. His family and friends with a similar plea as they prepare to say goodbye. We want justice, that's all. I just got up out of my bed. I'm very sick, but I'm here for my nephew. And I'm trying not to cry. You know what I mean? But it hurts. They don't care about it. Emotions running high. Clark's brother confrontational once again having to be carried into the wake and issuing an apology to the mayor just one day after he interrupted the city council meeting with demonstrators Tuesday. He later apologized. That's why I came here to apologize to the mayor. Police plan on releasing more video of the March 18th incident that the Police Officers Association now says was justified, adding the 22-year-old took a shooting stance before officers shot at him 20 times, killing him. Show me your gun! Clark's death refocusing the national spotlight once again on gun violence against black men by police officers and the calls for change spreading coast to coast. The White House calling the national outrage a local matter. And that's something that we feel should be left up to the local authorities at this point in time. Overnight, hundreds taking to the streets in New York City with the NYPD arresting 11 people. Here in Sacramento, Clark's funeral is scheduled to begin at 11 and go until 1. It is open to the public, and the Reverend Al Sharpton will deliver the eulogy. Robin? We have to keep in mind again that his funeral is today, as well as you said earlier. Thank you, Kena. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.